Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different tech tips and also talk about how you can become a freelancer. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove background noise completely for free using a tool called Audacity. This is an updated tutorial because Audacity changed its interface in its recent versions of the program. Now, removing background noise from your audio is so important. If you are a content creator, you create videos for social media platforms or for YouTube, or maybe you have a podcast or something else, it's very distracting to hear fan noises or wind. And sometimes even the quietest room, there's a natural humming or static sound unless you recorded the audio in a sound treated professional studio. I always use Audacity to remove background noise from my videos and from my audio files. And this is a tool I literally use every day. So I'm going to link you to this in the description below this video, but it's audacityteam.org slash download. And you can download Audacity on any computer that you have. It's a Windows, a Mac, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to click on download for Windows. And you have the option to download whether you have a 64 bit computer or 32 bit. And if you're not sure which computer type you have, go to your search bar, type in about your PC, and you should see under system type, what type of operating system you have. So in my case, I have 64 bit. Audacity may automatically download for you, but if it doesn't, you can click on whichever version you need to download. And you can either click on the installer or the zip files. In my case, because I have a 64 bit computer, I would just click on this one here. So now locate the downloader file and double click it and just go through the process of installation and then click finish to exit the setup. So first I'm going to show you how we can remove the background noise from an audio file. And later I'm going to show you what you need to install in order to do this with a video file. Okay. The first thing you have to do is go to audio setup and just make sure your playback device are your speakers or your headphones. I recommend installing headphones before you open up audacity and then open up audacity and choose the headphones. It makes it much easier to be able to listen to background noise. So once we've done that, now we can open up our audio file, go file, open and locate your file that you want to edit. Double click on it. And this is going to import our file. So, Right here, we have the zoom in button. Click that and you'll zoom in. You can also press control plus one. And if we click and highlight, we can listen to the beginning of the file and we're going to hear some background noise. So just click play. So I wanted to go on a trip, but I haven't decided if I'm going to go we can hear a lot of background noise. There was a fan on in the background and there is a fan sound throughout this entire clip. So how do we remove that sound? Well, the first thing I'd like to do is amplify the sound. So what we're going to do is press control plus a on your keyboard to highlight the entire clip. Then we'll go to effect volume and compression amplify. And let's amplify this so that the new peak amplitude is negative three, and that will amplify it by six. Then click apply. And this is also great because you do not want to have very quiet audio on your video files or people won't be able to hear them clearly or will have to put their volume on maximum. So you can see that this has also increased the loudness of our background noise. So what we're going to do is first we have to tell audacity that this is background noise and this is a sample of the background noise that you can find in the entire audio clip. So you'll highlight the section of your clip where you have this background noise, where you can hear it clearly and say you don't have a lot at the beginning, then click on this bar at the bottom and just go across your file and find a section where you can hear the background noise clearly. For example, here, in my case, I have it at the beginning. You also may have it at the end of the clip. So just highlight that, then go to effect, go to noise removal and repair, click on noise reduction, then click get noise profile. It says just select a few seconds of just noise. So audacity knows what to filter out. So we're going to click get noise profile. And now what you have to do is highlight the entire clip. So control plus a, 
You can also go select all. Then go back to effect, go back to noise removal and repair, noise reduction, and all you have to do is press OK. You can adjust some of these settings, the noise reduction, sensitivity. In my case, I always just leave it as it is. It always does a great job just as it is. So I just am going to press OK. You can see that it has filtered out all this background noise. Let's listen again. So I wanted to go on a trip. So it has just taken out this background noise across the entire clip. And this little noise you hear is just me breathing. So if you wanted to get rid of that, you could just click on it like this and then click silence audio selection, control plus L, or just click this button here. Now, another thing I want to mention is that this works great if the background noise is the same background noise throughout the entire audio file. But sometimes your laptop fan kicks on or some noise starts up later on in the audio file. In my case, another fan kicked on near the end. So if I press play here, and you can press the space bar to press play, you can hear there's this other fan and we haven't removed this noise because it's a different background noise and it wasn't present at the beginning of the clip. So now we're just going to highlight this and repeat the process, effect, noise removal and repair, noise reduction, get noise profile, control plus A, highlight the whole clip, effect again, noise removal and repair, noise reduction, and then OK. And now it's taken that out. So this has removed both the noise of the first fan that I had in the first part of my clip and the second different fan. Usually you only have to do this once unless something happens and a sound kicks on later on in the audio. So it's important to go through your clip and make sure that you've removed the background noise in all parts of the clip in case there was another sound that sort of came on, like a fan or humming or wind. Because she said they have great wine and it's really beautiful uh, and there's a lot of really gorgeous. And now to export your file, you would just go File, Export, and you could click Export as MP3 or Export as WAV and put your file name and then save and then press OK again and now you'll have your cleaned up file. So the other thing I wanted to show you was how you can do this if you want to edit a video file. So right now if I were to go file open and I wanted to edit the audio of a video file, this error here is going to pop up because I don't have this FFmpeg library file that I need. Right now I can only edit audio files. So we need to install this and download it first. So what we're going to do is just exit out of Audacity and I've also linked you to this in the description below this video and this is installing FFmpeg. So what you're going to do is install the file that you need whether it's Windows or Mac. Click here and you're just going to scroll down and download the version that you need. So I'm going to install this one because it's for 64-bit Windows. Go ahead, accept the agreement, next, and just go through and install it, and then finish. So now we can launch Audacity again, and now you'll just open up your video file, file open, locate your video file, see we're going to open up an MP4 file, and you can see here it says importing FFmpeg compatible file, so now we are able to open up our video files, and you would just go about removing the background noise the exact same way as we did before. You can zoom up on it, find a sample of the background noise that you want to remove. In my case, in this video file, there's not a whole lot of background noise. Then effect, noise removal and repair, noise reduction, get noise profile, control A to highlight everything, effect, noise removal and repair, noise reduction, and then OK. That will go through remove all the background noise across the entire file and now you can see there's no background noise. And then what you would do is you would export this file and just use a video editor to merge it with your original video file. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Audacity is really an awesome program to help you with all of your audio editing needs and the best part is it's completely free. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section below and I will see you all in my next tutorial.